করে Hi everyone, um, I'm Charlotte Hensley. I'm the director of the Film and Spoken Word branch at Incandescent, and I'm here with Fatima, who is the director of the Creative Writing branch. Um, and I'll be interviewing her today, asking her a lot of questions about getting clips into the literary magazine and things like that. So uh, first of all, why don't you introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Fatima. As Charlotte said, I'm the director of the Incandescent's creative writing team. I oversee the literary magazine and our team looks over the submissions and we also run the blog. It's really great to be here. Okay, hey, great. Um, yeah, let's just get to the first question. Uh, so uh, could you give us some background on Incandescent Lit Mag, like what genres you accept or the age limit for submitting and some other more technical stuff like that? Yeah, the magazine, it's meant to be like a youth magazine by the youth for the youth. So we accept the um, submissions from the ages like 13 to 23, which is the same age as our team. And we accept like a wide variety of genres. We take poetry and prose. Within prose, you have like flash fiction and short stories, maybe some excerpts of longer stories. We do have a page limit, a couple, maybe about three pages. And in poetry, we also accept like a wide variety of styles. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. Um, on to the next question. Uh, would you say that incandescent has a specific vibe or a quality to the writing that uh, they tend to accept? Mm -hmm. We we look for three things. We look for creativity, like the author's creativity, like if they're producing some kind of interesting concept that's new and fresh, for a theme, how well it relates to our to the magazine's theme, which is talking about youth issues and things that relate to like anything about that. So like your social development, like cultural issues, global issues. And then finally, we look for te technical skill. And within this, it's the author's use of like, poetic elements of how they write, their style, grammar, other things that show to us that this person has like has spent time like crafting their skill. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Um, all right. Uh, could you describe what like the perfect submission would be or maybe just like a specific one that uh, you once saw that you were really excited about? Mm -hmm. The perfect submission is like generally a very vague. It fits It fits like all three qualities that I talked about earlier and those three qualities have like, a lot of room in them for the different techniques and styles and like visions. And a specific one, hmm. A lot of the poems that we see, like really, we see a lot of like good poems that talk about a per the speaker's like personal relationship with like their culture or their race or like other issues that might be like that might they might be experiencing like in their personal lives. And a lot of like vulnerable like raw pieces that talk about like you know their what they feel. It's always like really, it's usually like well well done. Yeah. Okay, yeah, cool. Um, and kind of speaking on that, like what would you like to see more of that you currently don't see all that much? Mm, yeah, kind of like kind of like going off of what I was talking about, like right that like the last question. We do see a lot of things talking about like what people face and like problems, traumas, and those are always going to exist. But I would like to see more pieces to talk about healing and how those traumas, like how like how we healed from those traumas and how also people rely upon their culture and like their personalities and their social situations at the place of a like, community. Definitely, yeah. Okay. Um, and then what are things not to do when submitting? Or just like what kinds of submissions do you definitely not want to see? Mm -hmm. Like the main thing I'd say is to just stay on the theme. Like mm -hmm. this is a youth magazine. Sometimes we get things that are for like other age groups or for like other kind of themes, more like nature poetry, something like that. So the thing is just to stay like they stay on track on what we're submitting to. Definitely, yeah. Okay. Um, and so do you know when next issue is coming out? Um, and if so, when is the next submission period and when will that close? Yeah, we publish quarterly. So now we're reviewing the summer issue. So we're going to release that in September. 
And then mm -hmm. the next submitting, the next submission period is for fall. So it's open from September, October, November. And then we're reading during December. Okay, great. That's interesting. Um, so yeah, walk us through the steps of submitting a piece of writing to the incandescent. <laughs> So first you have your piece, and then you're going to go to, like on the Tennyson website, there is the how to submit web, web page. You go over there, and then you're going to see if your writing fits the theme of the magazine, fits the like, other criteria that we have. And like this, the criteria is more so like font size and how many pages it should be in, the spacing, things like that. And then you're going to write an email to like submit to the, our submissions email. You're going to put in your, you're going to attach your writing, one dot for each piece that you're submitting. And then you're going to give us a short bio that you would like to be like published alongside the piece. And then you're going to give a, just an artist statement on what you meant to accomplish in your writing. Okay, great. Yeah, so there's more to it than just submitting the actual writing. It's great, okay. Um, so what happens behind the scenes in terms of like how many editors read a submission or vote on it? And what is the acceptance rate? <laughs> we have a team of about like 10 people and we have two people reading each piece. So we, we take about a month for the first two weeks, we have a reader one submissions that everyone reads their pieces. And then in the next two weeks, someone else will come over and then read the same pieces. So in the end, we are we have two people rating each submission on the creativity theme and skill. And then in the end, with the highest, like the people who get like the highest ratings, like above an eight, will end up with being on the magazine. And we normally get about like 50 submissions per, per reading period. And we accept about like 10 to 15. Okay, great, yeah. Um, and so you kind of answered that, but how long does it usually take to hear back on average? You'll hear back when the submissions, like when we finish a reading period, yeah. this will be like around when the every issue comes out. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then finally, any other advice to writers who are thinking of submitting? Yeah, definitely go for it. Write something that you find value in, share it with share with people around you so they can edit and like help you like, polish it. And then of course, submit. I'm really happy you should read your work. Totally. Okay, yeah. Um, thank you so much for doing this interview. This was really insightful and I'm sure people really appreciate it. Um, thank you. It was, for yeah, me. it was It was great. To, I got I feel like I got to know you and the literary magazine better. So yeah. All right, thank you so much. Okay.